we are a voluntary secondary school with Catholic ethos. We have a mixed intake. Uh, we currently have 680 students after starting with 21. Eventually we will have 1,000 students. I think they, they like having the iPad, they like using it, they like learning different things. Like we have a student tech squad in the school that are, are really geared towards learning more about using technology, but really as an educational tool. So not just, you know, a toy or technology for the sake of technology, it's really to enhance their learning. I use the iPad for their creativity side of things in the classroom. It just really allows students to, I suppose, explore different ways of learning. In the music classroom, it is really handy to have garage band. They get to experience playing the violin, the cello, and all the orchestral instruments that we don't have in the classroom. I also use garage band in the English classroom for recording podcasts and bringing kind of those stories to life. Oh, I use an app called Kino. Uh, it's a great app because it has, a, it has a lot of options there and you can do loads of stuff on it and it's just a great app in general. So I did a presentation recently on Nelson Mandela for CSBE and it was it was good and it was fun because and it was also much easier because Kino allows you to do everything much easier and that's what, why I like using the iPad. So I was able to put pictures in, animate it, uh, add words, do a lot of things on Kino. We had to do a presentation on music from a certain country and so I did it on France and I had like all, all the information on it and I could get um, the like pictures and stuff off Google and put them in and I could add transitions stuff in between the different slides. As part of our partnership with, with Regal Learning, they are Apple authorised educational specialists. It's a very important part of, uh, of how we kind of can ensure success in the classroom. We manage things like our devices, so like we have a jam system which controls the app store. So it's not as if students are coming in and, and, and using the iPads whatever they want. It's kind of locked down, it's managed, so we can focus on the learning in class. So their app list is pre-approved, so less likely of any behaviour issues that we can have are given that through Regal, we're kind of given that ability to kind of overview iPads a lot easier. And it's kind of a stricter use of it that it's for educational purposes only. Well, working with Regal, it's, it's been a long relationship now. Uh, I met with uh, Simon from Regal even before I had started to uh, taken over as principal of Edmund Rice College. So that was in March, 2017. We were opening in September. And it was great working with someone with great knowledge, just being easy to deal with one company so we can direct parents exactly where we want them to go. So in terms of every student starting with an iPad in September, it always runs very smoothly and efficiently. If you go around the school, you'll see the iPads used in all subject areas, each differently, which is great as well because it shows a real variety. But you will also see students using pen and paper and books as well. So it's all about variety and opportunities that maybe they wouldn't have if they didn't have the iPads.